I'm Paige. I'm Parker. And this is Bing, Bing TV. TV. Well, now that Valentine's Day is over, I don't really know what to do. I'm not a big fan of Valentine's Day gifts, but I do love rom-coms. I think my favorite is probably Twilight. I love Twilight. Twilight is not a rom-com, but I do agree there are some pretty good movies to watch around this time, though. Yeah, well, I'll prove to you Twilight is a rom-com, because we've got some Video One production students that are going to show us Twilight right now. The best Remember. Twilight you've ever seen. And it'll be so romantic and so comedy, and I'll prove you wrong. <laughs> we better go watch that. Yeah. <laughs> I have to get dragons for my pelican. If I ever become a cannibal, I'm gonna eat a fat fellow. I think you're sick. Her say bad thing to me. Ah! Oh. Uh. So are you Team Edward or Team Jacob after that video? Well, I mean, I gotta admit, Jacob got rocked pretty hard and still stood. But, you know, that buzz, I don't know. I gotta go with Team Edward. I mean, this just got my heart. What are you? Um, I'm honestly, I'd go for either of them to give me sweet little fun Valentine's Day cards. I love Valentine's Day cards, but some of them are trash and bad. Mm. And so, yeah, I rated a couple of them in this fun little montage video. Let's check that out! Did you like my Obama? Specifically my Obama Valentine? You know, specifically your Obama one I did like, yeah. Heck yeah, let's go. I love the presidents so much. That's why I love President's Day. Do you know why we celebrate that one? I actually don't, how come? Uh, I, I don't, well I do know, but there's a wonderful little video that will show you instead of me. Cause well, my voice, I'm losing my voice a little bit. I'm a little bit ill. Right. So, so check that sick. out, yeah I'm sick. You're cold, you're sick, you're sick. Yes. Yeah. You're feeling I've, sick. I've got a couple diseases. We gotta be careful. You have got to be careful. You got to stay out. We got to You got to get better. Got to get better. Let's go watch that video now. Get well soon. In our research of President's Day, we found that there was a lot more to it than what we thought. In fact, it's downright exhausting. It started simple enough. In 1879, President Rutherford B. Hayes wanted to honor the father of our country. First President George Washington, whose birthday was February 22nd, and declared this day Washington's birthday as a federal holiday for only in Washington DC. Washington's birthday expanded to the rest of the United States in 1885. In 1971, the date was changed from February 22nd to the third Monday in February. 
It was after this when all the confusion started. Abraham Lincoln's birthday is also in February. The day we mostly recognize as President's Day is called different things by different states. President's Day, Washington's birthday, Washington and Lincoln's birthday. And then we have the apostrophe, or lack of apostrophe. President's Day versus President's Day versus President's Day. Which one is it? According to the Uniform Monday Hard Act, signed by President Lyndon Johnson in 1968, President's Day is still legally Washington's birthday and not the more familiar President's Day. But no matter what you call it, we would all like to say happy birthday to President Washington. And thank you to all of the presidents who have served our country! That video was incredible. It goes to show just how important President's Day is. And it's so vital to understand exactly what impact they had in our nation's history. And Parker, you don't even care! Wait, hang on, wait, what's wrong? Sorry, I've got something in my eye and it's Futures Events. <sighs> FFA week is this week, and high school basketball regionals are also this week. Oh my gosh. Band solo and ensemble is Saturday. Speech and debate has a term in, 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 in Seminole on <gasps> Friday and Saturday. That's crazy! Oh my god! <laughs> well, listening to your events were tough. Yes. Glad we got back. Oh, yeah, back to future events. Yeah, well, I'm hungry. Huh? Hey, this is Ben. Thank you, Ben.